Effort. Scott, you want to lead us off? Sure, but you just kind of your thoughts on the game and what proved to be the difference? Well, they're a very good football team, no doubt. They're the number one team in the country for a reason. Uh, very, very big, physical, fast, uh, a lot of weapons on the field. Uh, he tried to contain some of them, and the quarterback's going to get you. You know, he, he ran all over us today. He's a big, physical guy with a lot of speed, and uh, it was hard to contain him. I know nobody believes in moral victories at all, but do you take any positives away from this game? Yeah, there's a lot of positives. Uh, of course, we didn't accomplish what we came here to do, but uh, I was pleased with the team in the second half. It would have been easy to roll over. Uh, we had a couple goal line stands in the second half, and um, so I thought the guys competed all the way through and played hard. And um, you know, and that's that's really the sign of what we've been preaching is to compete every single play. And I thought that they did that. Uh, but there's going to be a lot to learn from this game, of course. When you're trying to pull off a gigantic upset like this, obviously, usually you got the freaking good start. How much did it hurt that, like, the second play in, Jalen breaks the big one? Well, yeah, and that, that's another thing. I mean, you, you get down so early like that, you know, it, again, when the momentum all goes that direction early, um, it would have been easy to say, okay, you know, this is what we thought it was going to be or whatever. These guys are unbelievable. And, uh, but the guys kept playing, kept playing hard and, and uh, made some plays uh, offensively. Felt like we kept our quarterback on his feet, and uh, that, was, that was key. Uh, made some plays there um, to try to move the ball a little bit, you know, get the ball out of his hands. Um, had some poor field position throughout the game. They did a nice job of pounding the steep a couple times, so it's hard to go long field on a team like that. Jalen yeah, Hurts, you said you were impressed with him. He's been under a lot of scrutiny here. You've been more of a football ball now and so forth. But it like you're really impressed with his ability to play. It's very difficult to play. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's if you're covering guys downfield and, and he can pull it down and do what he can do with the football, um, it's tough to defend, you know. so. To have that in your arsenal with a guy that can do that it makes you add some guys to the box and maybe get, then leave the receivers one-on-one uh, -on -one with people, you know, and, and they're very dangerous as well. So I have the utmost respect for him, uh, the whole offense, the whole team for that matter. If it's easy in games like this to try to make a change at quarterback and spark something, what was the value for Virgil to stay in there and let him work through some of the hiccups and some of the struggles? He well, I didn't. I didn't see a lot of struggles with him, uh, really. I mean, it's um, it was pretty accurate with the ball. We had a couple of drop passes, but I thought he played with a lot of composure, a lot of poise, uh, in a very tough environment against a very good defense. You know, so uh, he didn't do anything that would have caused us to say let's pull him because he's playing poorly. Uh, you know, I thought he made good decisions with the ball where he was going with the football. He was making good decisions that way, and so. Uh, you know, it's, there was nothing that warranted us pulling him uh, down the stretch when you know there was you know it was evident that we weren't going to be able to come back to try to get Marcus a few reps in there on the last drive. You mentioned defending the goal line and offensively not for my staying on his feet physically on both lines. It's pretty good to see the goal line. Yeah, we are because that that group right there is very imposing on both sides of the ball. Um, defensively, they're very, very big, very physical, very fast. Um, you know, we weren't able to run the ball all that well, um, but no one really does against them. Uh, made a couple plays, but not could never sustain anything. Um, and our defensive line uh, did a decent job uh, down the stretch. They broke a couple on us and, and it ran some counter plays that got us. Uh, but uh, for the most part, I thought they played hard inside, and, and really the big difference was was Jalen. Now he pulled it down and made plays with his legs. Looking ahead to next week now, Coach, uh, do you think this is a little bit of a confidence builder for the team to, to put up a decent show like this? We'll watch the tape. We'll go back and we'll watch the tape and uh, see what we can improve. But, uh, you know, I, th I think our kids have worked really, really hard. And I, I think they believe in what they're doing. And, uh, and I think they'll be excited to go back to practice and keep building on what we've built so far. I think we have the right mentality and the right attitude, and uh, now we just go back to work. You know, we have a great opponent, another top ten opponent next week on the road, and um, you know I know they're very talented, so it's going to be another opportunity for us to to go and, uh, and compete. What's the word on Monty and health-wise? How did you guys come out of this? 
Uh, we'll find out um, when we get back and as we have MRIs. Probably doesn't look great for Moffey. Uh, he has a knee. Um, so we have to get an MRI just to make sure. Uh, the other guys uh, feel like they may come back. Um, Jameer, the ne uh, x-rays were negative on his, on his clavicle. And, uh, and Trent, we have to find out what's going on there. His kneecap slipped out a little bit. So, um, you know, typically those types of things, you really find out more the next day. Coach, final question for me. How do you take the next step from, you know, to get to a point where you can start being competitive again in games like this and maybe even come close to pulling off the upset? Keep working. Keep working at it. You know, keep recruiting. Keep working. Um, you know, besides the first little bit, I thought the second half, half was competitive, you know, and, um, but uh, just got to keep working at it, you know, and keep, keep creating the standard, build the standard that we're looking for, and now it comes with preparation, hard work, um, and so that's what you have to do every single day, uh, just go back to work. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.